WordPress usage is shrinking. <laughs> but is it really though? Let's look at the data, let's look at the information, and let's see what the facts are. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about WordPress market share. Is it going up? Is it going down? What's the deal? And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because a few months back in May, Jost DeVoke, one of the biggest names in WordPress, came out with an article that said WordPress usage is shrinking. Let's take a look at that article. Now, in that article, he went over some data from W3 Techs, which is a website that measures the market share of different programming languages and CMSs and technologies. And he noted that WordPress was shrinking and lost about 0.4% market share since February. Now he does say he doesn't want to sound like an alarmist. So what he did was he waited for a while before he wrote about it. And he also noted that Shopify, which is the number two CMS in the industry, also showed a decline. Then he goes over if WordPress is losing users, who's winning, who's gaining. And he mentions that Wix and Squarespace are two companies that have seemed to be doing better. And then if you scroll down further, he goes over some of the month by month reports on market share. He notes that in January, it was at 43.2%, but then on May 11th, it was at 42.9%. Then he tries to go over what is to blame for WordPress losing users. Some people said it was about performance. Some people said it was about SEO. Others talked about the complexity of WordPress, full site editing, Gutenberg. And he even goes as far as saying that WordPress is being out innovated. So definitely take a look at this article because it is written by someone who is well respected within the WordPress space. And since he spoke about it and since he blogged about it, another website, WP Tavern, which is a huge name in WordPress, came out with an article going over some of the data and what might be causing it as well. So let's take a look at that article. So on WP Tavern, the article headline is WordPress community attributes declining market share to performance issues, increased complexity, and the lagging full site editing project. So in their article, they go over the data as well. They go over the month by month. And they also go over why some people might be choosing other platforms instead of WordPress. So that's another good read as well. So definitely check it out. But I also want to go to Twitter because we know that anytime there's something happening online, Twitter is going to be a place where people sound off. So let's go take a look at Twitter. So if you look at Twitter, you're going to see that we have Joe's DeVoke's tweet itself about WordPress market share shrinking. Then you have some comments and some people talking about people having user experience issues with WordPress. WordPress speed is not the best. People having issues with Gutenberg, people having issues with WooCommerce, and people being frustrated. Now remember, whenever you have such a large platform, because WordPress powers about 43% of the modern web. So whenever you have such a large platform, there's always going to be issues and you're going to find that more people will complain and more people will voice their opinions when they're dissatisfied with something versus when they are satisfied. There's the vocal minority and the silent majority. But is that the case? Let's continue doing some more research. Let's look at the data. Let's see what other bloggers have to say about this. Now in doing my research, I came upon another article and in that article, they highlighted another potential issue and it's something bigger than WordPress in their point of view. And in some of the comments on that site, they mentioned the fact that not as many people are getting personal websites or smaller websites. Instead, they say that people are relying more on third party platforms like social media with Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and a bunch of others who are also offering opportunities for people to voice their opinions, provide their services, promote themselves, and in some cases, the ability to directly sell items from that third party platform. So they're saying that not as many people are getting small websites or personal websites. And a few years ago, I wrote a blog article about this and I think I created a video as well that spoke about social media versus your website. And the gist of it is, you need both. You need to have a good, strong social media presence so that way you can reach out to new people. But you also need to have a home base, the foundation for your identity online. 
And that's where your own personal website comes in. But now my question is, are people not getting websites? Are websites falling out of favor? Are the number of websites online going down or are they going up? And for that data, I turn over to Internet Live Stats. And if you take a look on Internet Live Stats, you can see that we have almost 2 billion websites online. And that number is going up. We have almost 5.5 billion internet users in the entire world. Now, as of today, there are almost 3 million blog posts written. Mind you, I'm recording this in the morning. There are over 62 million Tumblr posts written. And remember, Tumblr is now part of Automatic, which is the parent company to WordPress. And on this site, you get a lot of good information. But what I really want to focus on is the fact that the numbers are going up. All right, so some people might not be getting personal websites and some people might choose just to do everything on the social media platform or a third-party service. But website usage is still increasing. And I always tell people, you have to own your voice because what if the algorithm on that social media platform changes and now your content is no longer featured? You need to hedge your bets and you need to be everywhere online. Now, obviously, you need a couple of places to focus on. Primarily should be your website and then pick one or two social media channels that you find best fit your brand. But now let's look at the actual market share of WordPress. If we look at W3 Techs on the historical trends in the usage statistics of CMSs, you're going to see that from September of 2021, till September 2022, WordPress went from 42.5% up to 43%. You see the gradual increase. They did peak at about 43.3% in February, but then went back down to 42.9%, then up to 43% and has stayed steady at that point. Now, just for comparison, Shopify went from 3.9% up to 4.1%. Wix, went from 1.7% to 2.3%, Squarespace from 1.7% to 2%. And then if we look at another page on W3Tech's website, this shows you that WordPress does represent 43% of the overall market share of all websites tested. And remember, not every website uses a CMS. So out of that CMS market, WordPress actually represents 64.3% market share. And then Shopify, we saw the 4.1 number out of the CMS market is 6.1. Now you don't always want to rely on just one source. So you got to find another source to back it up. So for that, I go to built with. Now this one is just testing the CMS usage distribution in the top 1 million sites. And this is updated in September. And they were able to test almost 870,000 sites. And of that, WordPress accounts for 33% market share. Now if you go further down, you're going to see a breakdown of what other systems people are using. Now, the way they quantify their data is a little bit different, but you still see that WordPress is by far the market leader. Now, let's put that into context. WordPress represents 43% of all modern websites. Its closest competitor is Shopify, and they represent 4.1%, 43% to 4.1%. So is WordPress in trouble based on these numbers? It's not. And even based on the numbers that Jos DeVolk mentioned back in May, WordPress usage has increased and stabilized at 43%. Now, the question is, is it possible to get to 100% usage of WordPress worldwide of every single website using WordPress? I don't see that happening. People like options. And you got to remember, there's always going to be fluctuation within market share. We've been spoiled with WordPress in terms of its year-over-year -year increase in terms of usage, but at some point, it's got to slow down, right? And again, there's going to be fluctuations. Think about the stock market. Some days the stock market is up, some days it's down. Think about the bond market. Think about Bitcoin and Ethereum. Some days it goes up, some days it goes down. Real estate prices, the same thing. So over time, you're going to see ups and downs peaks and valleys. But for the past 12 months, WordPress usage is actually up. But does market share actually matter? And that's a question that some other websites posed as well. Over here on Post Status, they have a good article where they respond to the blog article by Joe's DeVolk in terms of is WordPress market share beginning to shrink? They talk about how some people are pointing fingers at full site editing. And is it fair? Is it an overreaction? And are people being alarmist? And then on another article in Get Ellipsis, they also talk about, does market share really matter? And they point out the fact that even W3 Techs 
only analyzed the top 10 million websites. And we saw that built with only analyzed 1 million websites. Then they also talk about the fact that in the CMS market, WordPress is the dominant platform. Now, again, we're talking about 43% of modern websites being powered by WordPress. If we remember the number of almost 2 billion websites online, that's a lot of websites. Now, when you get a chance, go to Google and just type out WordPress and then hit enter. And you're going to see that you get over 1.5 billion results. That's a lot of activity taking place around WordPress. And Get Ellipsis also highlights the fact that there are almost 106 million searches for WordPress terms within the past 12 months. And that's a 7.5% increase from the previous year. So the WordPress market share is not in trouble, usage is not shrinking, and in fact, there's a lot of activity taking place around WordPress. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. Comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy coding.